So welcome to a review of the Giant Defy Advanced. It's Giant's full carbon frame and fork and equipped with an Otegra 68 group sets. Electronic. Electronic. So it's a very nice bike. I enjoyed riding this one. It's marketed as Giant's sort of endurance, grand fondo, all-round bike. It's used by the Giant Shimano team in the classics for Paris-Roubaix, Tour of Flanders, etc. It's more compliant frame than the TCR. And got the adjustable tri line seat post, which is really easy to uh, align, doesn't go any crooked at all. Physique Alancy saddle, which is personal preference. I didn't mind it too much. Tires are pretty good. The 25mm Giant PSL ones with the Giant wheel set. DT Swiss hub and internals, so quite a quality wheel set. Definitely very good quality. Clearance, you got plenty of clearance there with 25s. You can run fenders. You can put 30s on this bike or 28mm tires. The 25s are great there. And you can see the uh, Shimano battery there with a little cadence meter from the uh, Giant built into the frame. So this is the Defy, very stiff up front, Giant Overdrive 2 front end, which is a large, large steerer. And the Giant alloy bars and stem, pretty good. Very, very stiff. Very efficient bike up front, steers fantastically. Tall head tube, good for all day riding. Bit, bit less stress on the uh, shoulders and back. Fork. It's a full carbon fork with uh, some alloy tips down there sandwiched between the carbon. Handles a 30mm tyre, no worries. Depends what front brake you've got on though. But definitely a 28, no, not a problem. And we get down here. Beautiful bike. I really enjoyed riding this. Very good quality this year from uh, Giant. So we have a 30. We've got a 7 by 30 on here, a Challenger Raker. The fork does fit, the Giant Defy fork does fit, but if you look at the little clearance here in the brake caliper, bit of an issue here, not enough room with the caliper. The forks are right, but if you wanted to run the 30s on this bike, you would need, definitely need a, a long reach front brake there, otherwise it's just not going to fit. Let's check out the back. So you can see the back here, we've got the 30 on there again, you can see that it'll spin. It's pretty tight, but it will work. It will work just, but if you do put some long reach brakes on this bike, the Defy will handle the 30, no worries. The frame handles it, but the Altegra brakes do not as yet, but they, on the rear they do, on the front they don't. So you can run a 30 on the on the back and a 28 up front. Easy done, easy done. So what I've done is I've pulled off the stock saddle, put one of my things on there. People say, sponsored by Giant, I'm not, it's a specialized saddle. What else I've done is here is I've put on my Durace cranks because it comes with 172 of it or 175 crank length and I've got my little stages power on there as well. A little bit of power to show how this bike handles under power. So I didn't go for a bike ride but when you put some power through the frame you get an indication of how the giant holds up. So that's what we've done. Put the power meter on, crank length and my preferred saddle. I took it out some gravel roads, definitely soaks up the bumps very very nicely. Giant done a lot of work on this bike, they haven't just pumped out a bike, they've actually really built it from the ground up, done a fantastic job here, fantastic job. Put a Shimano long reach brake on it, and now the 30 does fit. It's quite interesting riding 30 wheel tyres, this definitely is a versatile bike, the old Defy. It's a, uh, it climbs very well, it climbs as good as the TCR, the TCR is basically the best climbing bike on the planet, the uh, late model TCR, advanced SLs, they're just incredible bikes. That's the benchmark for a bike these days, but based on all the testing out there. The giant, climb, the, the Defy climbs as good. It's got a bit more of a relaxed geometry, more, it's a bike you, can, you feel like you can go and ride, you know, 24 hours and no worries. A bit high head tube, but it rides very comfortably, and with the 30s, you don't even notice the 30s are on there, really. Fantastic. So versatility of this bike, it's a bike of many, many traits. You can build it up. Here we've got a little bit of a touring spec on there, some bags from Elevate Designs. I put some fenders on here even from a crud, the crud road race. So it's a, it's a year round bike. It'll handle whatever you want to throw at it pretty much. You could race crits on it, you could do stage races on it, not a worry. The frame is just top quality and can justify any upgrade you want to put on there. Clearance of the little fender, not a problem. You have to little sort of cut it maybe down the bottom, the bottom bracket, because the bottom bracket is just so chunky. So stiff, you need to probably cut that little fender if you want to put one on there. But it's a fantastic all-year bike. 
just fantastic. Giant's just made it such a versatile machine. Giant makes its own carbon fiber sheets, so they actually build their own bikes versus have other people make them for them. So they have more control on what they're actually designing and building and carbon layup, etc. Uh, that's one good thing about Giant. They definitely have upped the game in the last three years, massively so. So my bottom line conclusion, would I buy this bike? I would actually say no. I wouldn't buy this bike. I would save my pennies and get the next model up. Get the top of the line bad boy. The uh, Defy Advance SL. That's my opinion. That's what I would do. Because chances are if you're watching this video, you're probably living in a western economy or you've got access to those sort of funds. So my tip would be do extra overtime. If you're watching my video about a giant advanced SL, you're probably not in the 3 billion people who earn under $2 a day. So you're probably living in that western economy where it's possible to earn as much as you want, pretty much. So my tip would be, if you're in the market for that sort of level of bike, save your coin, get the next model up. Life's short. Life's short. Might as well get some bling on your bike if you can. So that's my tip would be just do a few extra weeks overtime or whatever. Sell a child, sell a kidney, get the next level up. It's gonna last you a long time. It's gonna last you a long time. The, the bicycle technology is so good now, it's such in its pinnacle. And where can we go from here, really? So that's be my tip. I wouldn't buy this bike, I would get the next model up. Because Giant are making a fucking kick-ass carbon bike. Best carbon bikes on the market for value for money, performance-wise, top shelf. So that's my tip there. Get the Avail Advance SL. It's an incredible bike. Riding this level of bike, giant, and then I've got the, the SL. A little bit of a gap. Is it worth the extra? It is. May as well. You're almost there. Just put the extra money into it. Get the Avail. Get the Advanced SL. Freely got one. She fucking loves it.